told me the story of like I was like, okay, it's, it's a tour, but he's like, it's not a very orthodox tour, you know. He said, uh, for the most part, we're gonna be like getting out and just playing in the street and passing around the hat to try to raise money and uh, and playing in these you know places that aren't necessarily jazz clubs and the places that I'm used to playing. He gave me two CDs worth of music to check out. You know, I had to learn all those. Then we did this last gig uh, over the weekend, and basically. It was just like, okay, this song's in C. One, two, one, two, three, four, you know. And uh, and I would just sit there and try to figure them out. And, you know, halfway through the song, I pretty much had it. And uh, I think I'm going to have to do a lot of that on the tour. But, you know, I've been checking out some, like, Western music and cowboy music that I certainly never checked out before. And, you know, it was one of the things he recommended I do. And, you know, I'll learn all the cowboy music that I can. And, you know, I'm sure I'll have to figure some stuff out along the way. I think a lot of like really uh, cool things are gonna happen. I'm sure I'm gonna meet some you know strange people along the way. I'm sure there'll be tensions in the band because after three weeks of staying together, you start to get you know starts to get kind of weird. And also, I'm like 40 years younger than anybody else in the band, so I'm sure that'll be interesting. I know that I have a hard time sleeping when someone snores really loud, and uh, he told me that since I'm the kid, I'm gonna have to double up every once in a while with some of the other guys, and they're older, and I already talked to them. I'm like. Hey man, you guys snore and they're like, yep. And I was just like, oh god, so there might be some sleepless nights. I don't know, we'll see.